Right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is me opening up and checking out another old card game. This is an old card game, I believe from the year 1994. And it is called Wern Wavern. Not really sure the name, how to pronounce it. It is W-Y-V-E-R-N Wern Wavern. Not really sure. Anyways, it's a very interesting card game. I never really played it when I was younger. This will be my first time glimpsing at it. I do know that uh, there was some errors from Magic the Gathering cards that did have some Wavern uh, backs on it because this is printed by the same company that did print Magic the Gathering cards, the company called Carta Mundi. So just very interesting about the, some of the history of Magic the Gathering. But anyways, this video isn't really about that. It's about the card game itself. Let's just see what it says it's about. This is called Wavern. The game of dragons, dragon slayers, and treasure. You got like a dragon on it. Looks like limited edition. Got like a pink border going on right there. Published by US Game System Inks. And this is from, uh, what is it? Is, uh, created by Mike Fitzgerald. Illustration, designed by Terry Donaldson. And artwork by Peter uh, Parkowinick. And then it contains 60 card deck with rule book. So I guess there's a rule book in here, which is great. Starter deck, limited edition. Wavern, the game of dragons, dragon slayers, and treasure is a fast paced collectible trading card game. Each dragon in Wavern universe is based upon an actual mythological dragon rendering uh, in captivating and uh, entrancing artwork. Cards are common, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare. So I guess they already had some sort of like mythic. Uh, as you dominate your vast empire you will want to collect all the cards to strengthen your army of dragons and enhance your battlefield position and increase your treasure hoard the artwork uh, is already developed for fourth ed for future editions all right so they already have the artwork ready i'm not really sure how many editions this had welcome to the king of wyvern uh, seven dollars and 95 cents back then 1994 and uh printed by carta mundi uh, the game of dragons dragon slayers and treasure and I do have some booster packs as well. They do are very reminiscent of old Magic the Gathering packs. Kind of the same sort of kind of translucent-ish looking white cellophane wrappers. Anyways, just let's go through this, open it up, and see what it's about. Kind of like the colors on the Star Deck. Alright, where is this? Is there a pull tab on this? Let's just see. I never really played this game when I was younger. I never really heard about it. I heard about it through uh, the card game Magic the Gathering. I just thought it'd be worth to check it out, see what it's about, check out the art, see if we can figure out some of the gameplay, and just really just have some fun with it. I feel like there is a pull tag here, but I cannot find it. Okay, here we go. I think. There we go. And we're in. Alright, pretty much the size of like a deck of playing cards. And it is individually wrapped as well. You got the W. Like the W, the two V's almost together, wavering on it. Interesting. This is the dragon. Tails are worm. Cool. All right, let's just pull this apart and see what we can do. Doesn't look like there's a pull tab on this one. We just have to dig on in it. Mm -hmm. All right. Kind of like the gold border on the back of the cards as well. There we go. There we go. Not really sure how this works. So let's just see. Let's just check out the little pamphlet as well. Wavering the Game of Dragons, Dragon Slayers, and Treasure. Created by Mike Fitzgerald. Illustration designed by Peter Prankunawake. Revised edition. Interesting. It says limited edition here. And it says revised edition here. U.S. Game Systems. You got Wavering Introduction. It's a fast-paced game, they say. A little bit about the cards. You got the card name. Let's just compare it to this one right here. Card name is uh, 1. The card name is Dragon. Oh, card type is a dragon. Name of the card. This is Tatsa Worm. So some sort of worm creature. Got an artwork. Obviously, the picture. Got the gold piece symbols, if any, which is 4 uh, right here. So I guess no gold piece symbols right there. Game of Nation section. I believe that's just 5 right here. So it says Strength 2. Subterrain uh, giant ants cannot be played <laughs> by either side in battle. Uh, Tatsa Worm is part of. Subterranean worms, <laughs> interesting. Non card comments, if any. There's nothing below it, so that's like the flavor text. And then collector's number is down here, so it's 142. I'm not really sure how many are in each set. And let's just see. Let's play. You rule over the vast empire and have an army of dragons, and mythological uh, dragons were first used to guard uh, guard treasure. Dragons love gold, and in Wavern, you must pay uh, them for fight to you. You start the game with a payroll of 25 gold pieces, see so game setup. So I guess you get like gold and you gotta pay your dragons to fight you. And I guess you have to use your gold or life points or something like that to 
fight your opponents. The game ends when one player has no dragons or train cards on the battlefield. Uh, he has lost the game. The winner scores 25 plus points, one point for every gold piece he uh, has left, and one point for each dragon and train card in the battlefield. All right, let's see the setup real quick. Got the playing area, very interesting. One to six is dragon train cards, so in the middle. Seven to ten, uh, okay, these ones up here are uh, treasure cards face up. Eleven dragon layer pile, twelve dragon layer discard pile. And then 13, Treasure Horde Draw Pile. And then 14, Treasure Horde Discard Pile. Game setup. To start the game, you must select 15 or more Dragon Cards, red, and or Terrain Cards, green, to put in your Dragon Layer Pile. Then draw. Uh, then you may put 35 or more Action Cards, purple, or Treasure Cards, gold, in your Treasure Horde Pile. So you pretty much have like two decks. You have your Dragon uh, deck, and then you have like your Horde deck, I believe. Each player needs to keep track of his gold pieces. Chips or small counters are recommended. Or a piece of paper, whatever you like. Shuffle these draw pile and take the top six cards of your dragon layer pile. Um, look at the cards, put them face down wherever you want in the six dragon trained battlefield position. So just whatever top six you have, you put them on the battlefield. And then if both players agree, you can take the top card of your treasure horde pile and place it face down behind the battlefield. Winner of the game gets this card, so you play for ante. It's kind of like a gambling game, I guess. Draw the top seven cards of your treasure horde pile. This is your hand to start the game. So you, you already draw your dragons, and then you draw from your horde pile. You got your draw phase, your treasure placement or replacement phase, your movement phase, your action phase, your battle phase, second action phase, and discard phase. Very slimmer kind of setup to Magic the Gathering, I feel. Not too many phases. You got one, your draw phase. Draw the top card of your treasure horde pile and place it in your hand. Treasure placement. You may place one treasure card from your hand face up uh, in one or... Of the four treasure card positions in the battlefield, provide there at least one uh, dragon or train card in a row. Or you can discard a treasure card from your battlefield to replace it for one from your hand. Mm -hmm. If the treasure card from your hand has any gold pieces symbols on it, you must pay amount of gold to put it into play. So you pay with your gold. You start with 25, so that's sort of like your, your, your mana or something to cast your spells, and you slowly dwindle it down. The gold is placed in the gold mine pile, shared by both players. Many treasure cards will affect dragons in a row. And treasure cards is placed and some will require additional gold payment to do certain things. And additional payment are noted in the game information section on the card. Phase 3, movement phase. You may change position of one or two cards on your battlefield, including treasure cards. You may move a card into the previous vacant position. You can change rows freely. Treasure cards must always be in a row. Uh, be in one treasure card position in a row and has at least dragon or train card. Dragons and train cards must always be in dragon train card position. So it kind of just says a little bit of placement on the battlefield. Your action phase, must play. you can play action cards. All right. Got, uh, there are four types of action cards. Action cards, battle action cards, dragon slayer action cards, reaction cards, or battle reaction cards. You got your battle phase. You select one of your dragons in the battlefield. If it is face up, simply announce the card is attacking. Dragons can attack any card in a row. Flying dragons can fly over. <laughs> so flying has flying. They can fly over one row to make their attacks. Your subterranean, dragons, your subterranean dragons can attack any card one row away, so they kind of like dig under the ground to get them. All right, and they can sort of fight. Battle possibilities. Dragon versus dragon. Dragon versus terrain. Got row, change, row changes. Uh, second action phase. Discard phase. If you have more than seven cards in your hand, you got to get rid of one. Very similar. All right, let's just kind of look at some of the cards right now. So it's like kind of like a, a dragon battling game to fight for gold, and the dragons require gold to pay for them. So there's different color cards. I think there's a uh, red and green. There's also purple and gold, they said. Yeah. So the dragon, this is a dragon. It's a tassel worm. We already checked out that one. And uh, who drew this? I think all the art is commissioned by like one person. What did it say on the side? The artwork by Peter uh, Pran couldn't wake. I believe it's all from that one guy. So wow, a whole lot of art he did. This one is called Terrain. It's called Brush Fire. This dragon can't uh, use the effect of any treasure for the rest of the game, so you kind of make it not be able to use treasure. And I believe when it comes into play, you have to pay two of your gold. 109 on it. It's got the green back. Kind of like the gold border on it. Cool. I'll set these in piles, actually. Okay, what is this? This is another dragon. It's called Pan Lung. Reminds me of like the Chinese zodiac or something like that. Breathing a little bit of fire. Got like uh, the background of just like dark sky strength zero. 
uh, Flying Scout. Flying Dragons lose one strength after any battle with Panlung. So they lose strength, and uh, I'm not sure what the strength is. It's 105. It doesn't really have like an attack or defense. I'm not really sure. Got another dragon. This one's called the Naga. Interesting. It's got like deer horns going on. You got like the crescent moon in the background, a couple of trees. Naga attacks at six strength from face down and zero strength from face up. So when it's face down, it definitely does a lot more damage. It's got one gold, I believe, to play it. You got another dragon. You got King Akuana. Cool. Got some palm trees. It's collecting shells or something like that. Very interesting. There's just like a bunch of shells placed there. Really like the background color. Strength one. You may discard Kane Ana from the table instead of a dragon that just lost a battle. If Kane Kun Ana is face down when it happens, uh, pay two gold cost. Hmm. 152. I'm not sure if all of these decks are randomized or all of them have the same cards. I'm not sure. This one's called the Lindworm, so it's a worm. Strength zero. Loses one battle without dining. And this is three, number three in the set. So I think there's at least 152 cards in the set. One gold, just a really tall dragon, purple sky. All the skies are very similar. All the background on his art is very similar. Kind of like a, a nice faded sort of background. Looks like uh, an old like a court or something like that. And there's this dragon with like sulfur vents or something like that. Delaphane, nice blue dragon. Strength zero, flying scout. Get one card from your treasure hoard. Drop out each time it discovers a terrain. Got a celestiate. Crazy looking dragon. It's got like arms everywhere. It kind of got a funky looking face. Is that a man or a mountain in the background? Hard to tell. Strength five, flying. All right. Got a dragon. So it's just like a whole bunch of dragons. This is like a chicken dragon with like a bull whip in his hand. What the heck is going on here? Not sure what's on the ground. Is it like bumps? It's like just standing there. The fate of green to like the dark browns in the sky. Strength there. You may discard a Braxis from the table during the battle to give any other dragon plus three. If a Braxis is face down when you do this, pay one gold cost. One gold. 149 going on right there. All the same artists. All the same sort of background. All the backgrounds are really nicely shaded and really like dark colors to like like a very common theme, like the greens and yellows in the middle, I feel. Strength 3 flying, it's 11. Uh, T-Mat. Got another train card, it's a stream. Beautiful stream going on right there. Got a bird just flying in the sky. Some cattails. Dragon owners must pay one gold piece to the gold mine. Each of his draw phases, the stream is on the dragon. Alright, make them pay additional gold. Looks like a shriveled dragon. A lambton worm, it's a worm. Strength 1, you can pay one gold to remove a lambton worm from your dragon lair. Discard pile, uh, back onto the tail face down. You can only do this once. I like the moon in the background. So far, I don't think I've gotten any repeats. Got a three-headed dragon right here. It's a Hydra, the three-headed dragon, big old beast of one. Nice purple sky in the background. Strength four, after each battle, the Hydra loses one strength. You may pay one gold piece to grow another head to increase the Hydra's strength by one. You may do this once each turn, so you can keep increasing its strength, getting it to grow another head. Interesting. This is a different card. Reaction. It's magnetic field. Lightning bolts are coming everywhere. Two gold. Um, cancels the play of an action card. The action card is discarded with no effect. And magnetic field is also discarded. Uh, this can be played anytime, even during a battle. So it's like a counter spell, pretty much. Interesting kind of like shapes right there in the card border. Got another action card. This is a terrain. Reaction, action. I'll put these in the same pile. Invisibility. Give the dragon visibility. Kind of made a see-through apparition. All cards starting. Battle face down. Stay face down. And all battle action cards are played face down. After all cards are played, they are revealed in the other order played. And battle action cards must be paid for even if the terrain card was discovered. Interesting. So this is 239. So there's quite a bit of cards in this set. Another action card. It's Zeus. No scouts can attack this turn. It is the Greek god, or just the god Zeus, I believe, and he's just shocking the ground. No one can attack. Everyone's scared. Got a meteor shower. All players discard their hands and draw five cards from their treasure hoard draw pile. Cool. Reminds me of, like, Wheel of Fortune or something like that. Meteor shower. Just a couple of meters coming right down. Got the city. <laughs> just the city. Interesting building. Really an interesting woodwork on it going on. Got, like, the big tower in the building. Uh, a couple of stars as well. Dragon of your choice can be turned face down. Got help. It's hurt. Calling for backup. You may bring one dragon card from any into the battle. Uh, flying dragons can come from anywhere on the table. 
so pretty much I'm pretty sure just fighting for gold. Exactly. This bandit is literally holding a big old thing that they wrote gold on it. Because if it didn't say gold, I'm not sure you know what that is. Interesting socks. Got a bandit head on. Got some stars in the background. Take one gold piece from any player's gold pile. Gimme. Got reaction. Got a marina. Interesting. It looks like she's got serpents and then birds around her. Cancels the play of a dragon slayer. So get rid of the dragon slayer. Save your dragon. Dragon slayer action. Kills any flying dragon. So it's like, sort of reminds me of like Roman or something like that. It looks like a gladiator fighting a dragon. This dragon is actually quite small compared to the person. They're about the same size. And he destroys the dragon with flying. Here's a treasure card. Treasure is gold. Really like the yellow color right here. Princess uh, Libya. She's just hanging out with her dragon. The dragon's sleeping. Got this, a moon in the background. And she's just waving, saying hi. Uh, St. George must rescue Princess Leia before... Uh, he can remove any other treasure in your battlefield. Okay, so you gotta rescue the princess before anything else. Got a volcanic eruption. Bring any card back from your treasure hoard. Discard pile to your hand. So from your graveyard to your hand, pretty much. Volcano just exploding in the background. Treasure jewels. And this is two gold. Dragons in this row get plus one strength, one defending. So I guess like cards in a row all work towards each other. Got a fire bolt. Strength modifier plus three. Interesting, reminds me like lightning bolt, except uh, it gives a creature strength. Two gold to pay. Just like a lightning fire bolt coming at you through the trees. Got a treasure. Pick a treasure. You got one, two, and three. Which tree do you choose? Reminds you of uh, the Jack Skellington, the Nightmare Before Christmas, when they go in those trees. Two gold. Discard a treasure from your battlefield and put a treasure from your opponent's battlefield uh, in its place. Be sure to return the treasure to its owners after the game so you can't take your opponent's cards. <laughs> Got poison breathing. Dragon is like dripping things. Reminds me of a Komodo dragon kind of dripping its saliva. That is poisonous. The dragon that wins this battle loses one strength. This takes effect after battling for the rest of the game. Got a possession spell. Gain control of it. Got this wizard literally possessing the dragon. Making him do a little dance. One gold. You may add the strength of any face-up dragon on the table to the battle. The dragon cannot be... One that is currently in the battle. So you pretty much add another dragon strength to it. So I did get a duplicate right now. Got a meteor shower again. Got another thief. He's got his bag of swag. That's pretty funny. Treasure thief. His bag of swag. Same guy stealing before. Two gold. Treasure thief removes all treasures from play. Just get rid of all treasures. Gone. He's got a fountain of youth. Got the beautiful rainbow in the background. All this art is drawn by one person. Super impressive. Uh, the art is all very kind of... Fade, everything is very nicely blended together. I wish it was a little bit more vibrant, but a lot of fun, the art. One dragon in a row can survive a lost battle. As soon as this happens, you discard the Fountain of Youth. One gold, and it saves your dragon. There we go, another dragon. This is the... The Wavern Dragon. The big old beast on the pack. Cool. It's even on the box as well. Strength plus... Uh, it's four flying. It is the number one card. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's the most valuable card in the host set. Uh, battle reaction, got armor, got a knight of armor, no one's even in there, it looks like looks like it's just sitting in a field. Cancels the play of any action card that is strength modifier on the card, so get rid of any strength helping. Another health card, poisonous air. All players lose one gold piece for each face-up dragon on their battlefield. Even you lose it, just looks like some bubbles that are toxic. Another Zeus, gully, cool land right there. I just realized the artist's signature, I think, is in all of the art, which is good for him. No help is allowed by either side in any battle this turn. The gully. They're stuck in the gully. Got a pearl. You found a pearl. Looks like the moon, but I'm pretty sure it's a pearl. Some nautilus or something like that. When a dragon in a row wins a battle, draw one card from your treasure hoard pile. Hoard draw pile. Got a heat wave. This was a heat wave the other day. In the desert, the sun, just the barren wasteland, a little bit of grass. All dragons who are face-up lose one strength this turn. Another poisonous breath. Got a Martha of uh, Bethany. Hmm. One gold. Looks like uh, she's like washing shells or something like that. Reflection of the moon in it. A lot of these pictures are at night. I don't know why she's doing this at night, but whatever. Playing a face-up dragon. This dragon is immune to dragon slayers for as long as Martha is on the dragon. If the dragon turns face down, Martha's discarded. All right. Save the dragon. You got night. Just at night, that's what it is. Interesting. The reflection of the sky into the water. A little bit of the stars you can see. Cancels current battle. Dragons go back to their position face up. Just fog. Another, this is uh, the village. I thought it was the town. 
Uh, remove any one card from a dragon. Okay. Got a Goovery. Cool dragons. All coiled up like some sort of serpent snake. Very sharp looking tail. Got the moon in the background. Strength 2. This is number 4. Uh, Subterranean River. This dragon is now a subterranean dragon. It can attack any card as long as the subterranean river is on him. Subterranean river is discarded if dragon is turned face up. So help it burrow. Not too many terrain cards. I got like two so far. And this is my third. I got ocean, two gold, strength modifier, negative one. Lightning bolt. Got Thor. Thor kills any subterranean dragon. He just hits the ground with his hammer and destroys it. Two gold. So there's a lot of like mythological I feel to this. You got fireball right here, just fireball rolling down the hill, strength modifier plus four, three gold. Got gold shortage. All players take two gold pieces from their uh, gold piles and put them into their gold mine. So just put their gold in their mine. Back to the earth. Got crystal ball. You may look at the next five cards in any player's treasure hoard draw pile. Uh, you may then reshuffle draw pile and rearrange the five cards in any orders you wish. Kind of. Uh, Decide how you draw the next five cards or how your opponent draws their next five cards. Got fire breathing. This is pretty cool art right here. Green dragon just breathing fire out of his face. Strength modifier plus one. Action. You got avalanche. All face of dragons are turned face down. Just make it, make it face down. I'm not sure how you play these cards. I think you can just play them. Uh, if they don't have a gold counter, I think you can just play them uh, for free. I'm not really sure. This is the lake. A lot of dark skies and a lot of moons in all of the pictures. This artist really like moons. Nothing wrong with that. I like the moon there as well. Beautiful sky reflecting on the water. There's a lot of white reflections. Not sure what that is. Strength modifier, negative one. This is another terrain. This is Ra, the Egyptian god of Ra. Very interesting. They're throwing in a bunch of kind of different pieces for all over the world. Ra cancels any battle action card, dragon ability, or treasure action that would cancel this battle. Ra is the sun god. <laughs> Just a little bit of information. Got a Mark Duke hanging out there with his arrow on the top of the cliff, looking at the birds. A little bit of the wind in the background. One gold, no battle action. Uh, card can be played this turn. Got magic potion, a treasure. Look at all these crazy beakers and bubbles. You know something's going on right there. It'd be cool if they had multicolored liquid in it. Uh, one dragon in the row can help any other dragon in the row in a battle. Two gold. Got a hailstorm. Just some hailstorm. Negative two strength to all dragons. To all flying dragons on the battlefield. Got a Colchis. Strength one. Looks like it has like a ram or something in its tree. And it's eating it. It almost looks like a snake. And then I got uh, Marina again. So only a couple repeats, I would say. Now let's just see what, what are in some of these packs. I also did get a couple packs. Interesting. Really old reminiscence of old Magic the Gathering packs. Limited edition. Welcome to the Night Kingdom of Wavern. Wavern, 15 collectible fantasy trading card games. Got the Red Dragon on it. Uh, created by Mike Fitzgerald, U.S. Game System, Inc. Printed in 1994 by Carta Mundi. Let's just see what it says on the back of it right here. Wavern, the game of dragons, dragon slayers, and treasure. is a fast-paced collectible trading card game. Each dragon in a Wavern universe is based upon actual mythological dragons. Rendered and captivating and entrancing artwork. Cards are common, uncommon, and rare. I don't remember how you can tell the rarity. Um, as you dominate your vast empire, you want to collect all the cards to strengthen your army of dragons, enhance your battlefield position, and increase your treasure hoard. Artwork is already developed for the future editions. So they don't want you to be sending in artwork or anything like that. Just open these up. I'm not sure how this works. Did we get this one before? Dragon. It's a dragon, one gold. Strength 2. Whenever Dragon Owl wins a battle, you get one card from your treasure hoard draw pile. Hanging out on the perch. Got the just trees in the background. All of his trees, this artist, don't have leaves. Oh wait, never mind. These ones have leaves. But most of them are just barren sticks. Got Brush Fire. This is one of the trains that we actually got. I got a Pan at Lung again. I got a castle. Look at that. Crazy castle. Got the moat they have to cross. Just dragons. Looking like gargoyles. It's the castle. Strength modifier plus three. You can only play uh, the castle when you are defending in battle. One gold. So there's a whole lot of action cards, I guess. And less dragon cards. So it's most purple, red, green, and then yellow. Got Tsunami. For every one of your dragons, you turn face up. Draw one card from your treasure hoard pile. All right. Got a, a tree. Got some mushrooms underneath the tree. Uh, red tops, it looks like. And you got like a little red spot on his head right there. 
and he's just hanging out. The card you play, uh, the Predation Tree on, cannot be attacked by dragons during this turn. All right. Got magical healing, got the wizard healing this poor little purple dragon sleeping in the nice little valley. Got the moon in the background. One dragon of your choice is healed back to his full strength. Got night. Got the village again. Got the river. Strength modifier. Negative one. Two gold. Beautiful expanse of a river. Got a crystal ball. Fun art right here. Got frost breathing. Breathing frost. No fire breathing can be played during this battle. Prevent fire breathing. Got this guy again. Cadmus. Knowledge. Reading his book like Nicol Bolas or something like that. Look at target player's hand. Got a Beowulf. Hanging out there with the lightning striking this tower in the background. Is he slaying this dragon or not? Beowulf kills any dragon of zero or less strength. And got a couple more packs left. Got five left. Open it up. See what we all gonna get. Looks like I got some sort of giant. This one is just called a giant. SPQR, not sure what that is. Hanging outside Stonehenge, it looks like it looks like this dragon has human legs on it. Very weird. Strength five. Giant cost uh, four gold pieces when it's turned face up and loses one strength in your draw phase. Each turn he is face up. Giant goes back to five strength if he is turned face down. Okay. The big old giant. He got the moat. The moat. You got the gators in there. You got the two gold. Strength modifier negative two. Does not affect flying dragons. Because they can fly over it. Got low ten. Got like a whole bunch of headed dragon right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven headed dragon. Uh, be interesting. I feel like they would attack each other. Strength three. One gold. No battle action cards can be used by either side in battle with Loten. Another dragon. Got steel strength. Got the yin and yang kind of going on here. Red and purple. And they're stealing each other's strength. I'm not sure who's winning. Maybe the purple one because he's on top. One gold. Strength modifier. Uh, just played. Gets added to dragon of your choice. So just take whatever modifier your opponent put and put it on yours. But Sir Lancelot. <laughs> Sir Lancelot kills any dragon of three or less strength. Two gold and Sir Lancelot. Always reminds me of Monty Python in the Holy Knight. Got Gold Thief again. Stealing that gold. Got Knight. Got the village again. Got St. George. Looks like he's got his sword and he's going to stab this dragon when it's down. It looks like his helmet fell off on the ground and he's going to beat this dragon. St. George removes any one treasure from the game. He doesn't get rid of a dragon. He actually gets rid of a treasure. Because he's expensive. Got Princess uh, Libya. Got the Crystal Ball again. Got Frost Breathing. Got Dwarven Army. Got a whole army. You can see the main guy right here. And then you just look in the distance. All their shields and everything. Ready to slay the dragon. Strength Modifier plus one. Give your dragon a little bit of strength. Got Firebolt. Give your dragon three strength. Then knowledge again. So there's a whole lot of knowledge. I guess you pretty much, you just pick your six dragons to play the game. And then you use all these cards to fight. You can look at their hand. You can decide when to use their actual extra strength and stuff like that. And you just try to get each other's gold and beat their dragons. Let's open up another one. Interesting. There's like extra paint on this one. Well, this is like an old, an old fossil. I don't remember what these are called. Trilobite or something. Tarasky. Strength three. This is the sixth dragon. A, na a nautilus. That's what it is. It looks like a nautilus dragon. Very bizarre. Whoa, this card is like super thick. Something's wrong with this. Oh my. That ain't right. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't understand that. So I guess that happened. Yeah, I, I probably got an extra card in here or something like that. That might be why this pack is very weird on the back. Some sort of printing error. It looks like two of them got stuck together. I also got a terrain. I'll set this one to the side because they're kind of ruined. Got a dragon. Got gates. Just a green old dragon. Strength. Two flying. When gates is in battle. One treasure in a row. Uh, losing dragon is discarded. You decide which one. So get rid of their treasure. These ones are kind of stuck together a little bit. Very weird. Got hall of chivalry. Got all these weapons, all this knight of armor, and all this 
gold in there. Two gold. Put Hall of Chivalry on a face-up dragon. The dragon must attack this turn. If the dragon cannot legally attack, then it must be replaced. Play during opponent's turn. Make their dragon attack. You can see a little bit of like gold on the top right here. Something was wrong with this pack. Magical healing. Got a Marduk again. Got Thor. Look, you can see some of the gold on the side right here. This pack was printed weirdly. Thor kills any subterranean dragon. You got magical sword going on right there. The little glint. Strength modifier plus two. One gold to play. Got Twister. Reminds me of the movie Twister. All players may rearrange all cards on their battlefield. That's a pretty fun card right there. That throws up the whole game. Got Hailstorm. Got Gold Shortage. Yeah, all these have like the weird gold paint on the side right there. All players take two gold pieces from their gold piles and put them into their gold mine. Oh, we got that one. Poor. Got Seaweed. You know, Seaweed. All the bubbles. Random. Like a lot of his art. There'll be just a picture of something and there'll be bubbles around it. I don't know if I can find it. I don't know, just like bubbles. I feel like that's a theme of his. Let me see if I can find another one. Exactly, just like that. Just like bubbles. I don't know. But it's the artist. A seabird is played on a face-up dragon that gives dragon a negative one strength modifier for this turn. You get a magic wand. These are like the classic magic wands if you get like a magic kit. One gold. Any dragon in a row can become a flyer or non-flyer at any time for the rest of the turn. Got the golden apple. Ooh. The dragon he play in golden apple survives this battle even if he loses. And he got myself a desert. Negative one strength modifier, two gold, cracked up sand right there. All right, got a couple more packs. What an interesting pack. These two cards were literally like stuck and glued together. Not sure what happened with that. I don't know if that was very common for something like this. This pack feels normal. Got Gargolite. It's like a gargoyle dragon hanging out there at the moon in the background. The top of a side of a building. One gold strength two. Pay an additional one gold piece in battle to increase strength by two. As gargoyle helps, uh, gets help from the gargoyle he controls. Okay, another dragon. Look at this. It's another like Egyptian sort of god going on right here. Osiris. What is Osiris? Osiris is Leviathan of the deep. Is this underwater? Looks like a green guy. Interesting hier hieroglyphic kind of feel. Subtraining four. Got Skyla. She's got three heads. Three chests and uh, two dog heads and a very spiky tail. Strength four. Skyla defends at five strength from face down and attacks at strength three from face up. Got a giant ant here. Bizarre. Another animal. There's, this is the first other animal I think in this game so far. Literally just eating ants. Okay. No giant ants can be used in this battle. Wait, where's, there's giant ants. I want to get a giant ants card. Got Marina again. Got another St. George. Got another princess. Got another volcanic eruption. Got the dwarven army. Fun art on this card. Firebolt. Boom. Got pick a treasure. This is fun art too. Which door do you go in? Another magical sword. Got possession spell again. Got another meteor shower. Dragon slayer. This is Surgid. Hanging out by the tree. Looks kind of sad. Just got a sword. Very sad. Kills any dragon of two or less strength. All right, whole lot of purple cards right here. Got two more packs left. Mm -hmm. All right. Very interesting. Now I'm on Ryu. Got some horns on him. Strength, three flying. Ryu gains one strength for each treasure played. Uh, this row, when he is face up, Ryu loses the strength if he is turned face down. Okay. Got a griffin. It's like a lion, tiger, bird, hybrid creature with spiky fingers. Strength one flying. It's a griffin. Got a nidor, uh, nidhorg. It's like a snake creature. It's a dragon hanging out by the tree. Very interesting. I'm not sure what this is. You got like three different landscapes there underneath the tree. Does it represent the earth growing or something like that? Strength one subterranean nidhorg. Got subterranean treasure again. All your subterranean dragons can help each other one attacking two gold great for your subterranean dragons got a uh, pendulous tree again with the mushrooms got sacrifice oh no who's getting sacrificed the people or the dragon the purple dragon got two people here an old man and a younger person sacrifice the winner of the battle must pay two gold pieces to the loser got lightning boom this dragon is now a flying dragon and loses uh as long as lightning is on dragon lightning is discarded if dragon is turned face up Get the golden apple again. Fun art. Another desert terrain. Don't get too many terrains. Well, I just got two in a row now. Got coral reef. 
Save the coral reefs. Two gold. Strength modifier, negative one. Got the cauldron. This is a fun card again with the bubbles. It'd be cool if they were like kind of green bubbles. Got the toadstools on the ground, the mushrooms growing, the big old cauldron. Even though there's no fire underneath it, it's still bubbling somehow. And they got the moon in the background. On each of your turns, you may turn a dragon in uh, this row face up or face down. Got sacrifice again. I think that we had the same one in this pack. Yeah, we did. We got two of the same in the pack. Got meteor shower, tsunami again, another treat. So we got a couple of repeats in that pack. And on to the last pack of Wavern, the dragon fighting game. I can open it up. There we go. All right. Hard to tell which cards are rare or not. I'm really, not really sure. We got Frozen Lake. It looks like someone fell through it right there. Kills dragon of four or more strength. Has no effect on other dragons. That's pretty cool. So if they find that. They get it. This is Loki. It's some sort of like salmon dragon. That's bizarre. What a bizarre thing. Uh, Loki is a dragon from the Iceland Icelandic legend. Strength two. Get one gold piece from gold mine for each one battle. Looks like a salmon dragon. Very bizarre. Got a forest fire. That's horrible. Kills any dragon that discovers it. The owner of the slain dragon may place the forest fire in another card, on any other card that in either uh, in either battlefield and destroy that card. So kind of jumps from one to another you got Medea's spell two gold this lady's casting like a lullaby spell she's singing on it like a harpy or something like that got the moon in the background two gold a dragon of your choice is now strength zero for the rest of the battle got fountain of youth again got the wavering again the main dragon on the whole game he's on the pack of the cards we got a subterranean tunnels. Almost looks like faces or something like that. All your subterranean dragons can now attack any card in the battlefield. You got help again. You got poisonous air. You got the fireball rolling down the hill. You got the gully. You got the peril. You got Ra, the sun god. Poison breathing again. And Martha of Bethany. Very interesting. So pretty much this game is like a dragon battling game where uh, cards are face down until they attack uh, a card to discover what it is. You can either discover dragons or trains or like, like treasure cards I believe and it's just interesting you just pretty much fight for gold and some of your dragons require gold to fight and you have a hand of like action cards you can play action cards during your battles and like uh, she played like this one the winner of the battle uh, pays two gold to the loser or like there's other cards that give dragons strength Where's that? I just had like a fire bolt or something like that. Ah, I don't remember where it is. But there's other cards in here that like give dragon strength during the battle, stuff like that. Like here, you play this on your dragon when you're attacking, give them plus two strength, and you just pretty much try to play the game to your best. Uh, I believe you have, uh, what is it, six, seven cards in your hand. You can't have more than that. There's a discard phase, and you just sort of battle each other, your dragons against each other, and you try to get the most gold. Let me just check again. How do you play? how do you win this game again? Let's play. The winner scores 25 points plus one point for every gold piece. So you just got to get 25 points to win the game. Very interesting. You usually start with life points and go down, but this game you actually want to gain points. And there is sort of like a gambling aspect. You can play for anti that it did say in here. This did come out in 1994. It was printed by a company called Carta Munda. This is the limited edition of Wavern. Not really sure how to pronounce it. Very impressive that all the art was drawn by a single person. It'd be cool if they divvied it up and so there'd be different kind of uh, feel to all the art because all the art definitely has the same feel. All of the backgrounds are very similar. If you can just see the feel of the backgrounds, a nice little like faded pixely feel into each other. All the colors are very blended. Uh, a lot of very similar sort of feel. And uh, yeah. Overall, very interesting game. Never played this when I was younger. Just thought it'd be worth checking out now. I hope this video was of interest to you. I just want to say thanks for stopping by. I really enjoy opening up some older card games, just checking out the art, seeing what they're about, and just having some fun with it. Hope you enjoyed this. Just want to say thanks for making it this far if you did. And have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I'll catch you all on the next one.